Right, so I've just lashed up this MOSFET circuit, which consists of a 6 volt bulb and a 9 volt battery, and a MOSFET doing the switching. And on the breadboard there are a couple of opto isolators, and the whole thing's being driven by the Arduino Nano, running the standard blink program, one second on, one second off. So let's explain how it works. Right, I've just disconnected the battery because the flashing light is playing havoc with the camera. But um, what we have here then is um, a very tiny circuit, just this little loop round here. 9 volt battery, 6 volt bulb, and a MOSFET as the switch. Now the MOSFET is in the high side, it's on the positive side of the battery, and it's an N-channel MOSFET. Normally, uh, driving N-channel MOSFETs on the high side of a circuit is a problem. But uh, to overcome that problem, I'm using here a bootstrap. And the way the bootstrap works is that this uh, tantalum capacitor, it's a 3.3 microfarad, is, has its negative terminal connected to source. And when the MOSFET is off, source is pulled down through the bulb to battery negative. So that means that the, um, the negative side of the capacitor is at battery negative. The positive side of the battery goes through the drain, or it's connected to the drain, through this diode and charges the capacitor up. Now when the MOSFET switches on, the source pulls up, because of course this switch is made, pulls up to positive 9 volts. The um, capacitor then pulls its uh, positive side higher than that. It goes to plus 18 volts relative to the uh, 0 volt line here. And that is what's used to drive the gate higher than the source and switch the MOSFET on. Now, switching the MOSFET is this pair of opto-isolators. Um, this one is the pull-up and this one is the pull-down. The pull-up pulls the gate up to the positive of the tantalum capacitor. The pull-down pulls the gate down to source. And they work in a complementary fashion. You can see the two LEDs here flashing alternately on and off. So one opto-isolator is on when the other one is off. And the way this works is that you've got a chain of four LEDs, this red one, the opto, the other opto, and the other red LED, straight across 5 volts and 0 volts. Now 5 volts is being provided by the USB on the uh, Arduino Nano. Um, now the forward voltages of all the four diodes are sufficiently high that none of them turn on when connected directly across the 5 volts. But this 220 ohm resistor here is connected to a digital out on the Arduino, it's D13, the one with the LED on it. And that pulls, firstly, the two LEDs on this side um, up, and then alternately pulls the two LEDs on this side down. So they work in a complementary fashion. So that's a, a complementary driver driving the gate of the MOSFET, turning the MOSFET on and off. Let's just reconnect the battery, if I can and turning the bulb on and off. So that's progress for me because that's going to um, allow me to take the MPPT solar charge controller project forward. Um, I'm going to explain how all this works because I'm going to be doing a tutorial on MOSFETs, uh, a multi-part tutorial. I'm going to do another tutorial on opto-isolators and of course I'll carry on doing Arduino related stuff.